Good morning, everyone. I am here today to discuss something that not many people want to really delve into, um, but it's weighing heavy on my heart today, and I really feel like I need to express it. And so I'm just going to say it here on this video and share it with all of you and invite your input on the topic. So a lot of people in the Twin Flame community and even in the spiritual community at large all teach that this journey is about us. It's about our journey with ourself. Now, in some aspects, I will agree because regardless of who you're in relationship with, you're always going to be participating in that relationship. <clears throat> but this teaching can be very misleading for people who are just starting out on the journey or who are in crossroads where they're at a place of uncertainty and confusion because... It's usually involving someone else. So, <clears throat> excuse me. For this reason, I am going to challenge those who teach that it's all about self. Because in my experience, it is about a specific other. Now... What is unique about my journey that no one seems to quite grasp, <laughs> um, not anybody in the spiritual or twin flame community, not anybody in my personal life, not the people who know me the best, who I'm the closest with, even get this, but every single person or I should really be more specific and say every single man who I've been in a romantic connection with, not necessarily a relationship because there are some that I've had a connection with who never, that connection never evolved into an actual physical bona fide outward relationship but every man that I've ever felt a deep connection with and some I have pursued a relationship I can't say that I've ever been involved with anybody who I felt really deeply connected with well yeah maybe a couple <laughs> but um it really is about the other person's journey as well as it is our own. So I want to encourage people who are hearing this teaching and feeling frustrated or confused because they know inside of their heart it's about the other person as much as it is themselves. I will support that. I will... Um, be there as a supporting person and encourage and hold space and understand what that feels like because I am at that point right now in my journey. Um, right now, more so than ever before. Now, all my life, I've had friends say, oh, yeah, Crystal, I've heard that before. This is the one. This is the one. Well, every single one was the one at the time. They were the one I was feeling drawn to. They were the one who I may or may not have been in a relationship with. They were the one that who was vibrating at the same frequency as me and we were in one another's life 
to bump each other up a notch on the ascension ladder. So there also have been people who I've felt um, attraction to, but there wasn't a soul connection. Um, po case in point, my two husbands, I may have felt a slight connection with my first husband, um, but it was more or less a physical attraction or a visual attraction. Now, there is a distinction. A visual attraction is someone that you just simply like the way they look. A physical attraction is when there's chemistry, when it might not quite be the person's appearance that draws you to them, but something physical. Um, but it stops there. It's not a deep spiritual connection or a sense of oneness or affinity. So I guess with my first husband, I did feel that a little bit toward the end when we had split up and gotten back together and things were kind of okay, but they were getting ready to, like everything was getting ready to come to a head. It was like the calm before the storm, basically. I felt a really nice sense of friendship and um, peace with him that I had never felt throughout my whole life with anyone um, and not with him throughout our whole seven-year marriage. So um, with my second husband, it was, I was kind of, on the rebound and everybody around me saw it as an opportunity. And unfortunately I listened to them more than I did my own intuition. And it was when I was married to him that I had my spiritual awakening and everything in my life transformed into this wild, crazy journey that I've been on ever since. 2001 so not to ramble about myself but um, you know maybe I can use what I just shared as a way to illustrate what they're saying yes it is all about yourself no matter who you're in relationship with no matter what kind of connection you're feeling with a person even if you're single like it's still all about the relationship with yourself but that doesn't mean that that cannot involve another person in something that is supposed to transpire between those two people on the spiritual path. So um, I guess a really good way to put it would be to say overlap. So when you feel a spiritual connection with a person, you're pulled to that person because there's some overlap in your journey. It's like two people walking separately and they bump into each other and they say, oh, look at this beautiful garden. Let's go check that out. And then they finish looking at that garden or smelling the flowers and appreciating the, the landscape and the wildlife and everything that's there. And then they continue on separately rather than being together forever. And like, they don't go like get a house together and everything. They just appreciate the moment for what it is together or, you know, a beautiful sunset or um, something, you know, magnificent like that. And then they just go on about their separate ways. So that's the understanding that I have transcended to in my journey is that, you know, I don't have regrets or um, feel like I made mistakes in my past relationships. Every one that I was in, involved in 
or every connection that I felt with a person was always um, shared. And each person might not get the exact same thing from that connection, but they're each going to get something of equal value that they can carry with them for the rest of their lives or until they meet up again for another purpose or to carry on that same purpose. Now, most of what I said so far was me speaking just out of my personal human experience. And usually this happens when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with someone that I'm trying to help or that I'm seeking help from. I'll begin to share a story and suddenly it turns into a channeling session. So that's kind of what's happened here. And I'm going to stop this video and start downloading it and have a couple sips of coffee. And then I'm going to continue on and share um, what I feel like I'm being pulled to share in a semi-channeled state. So thank you everyone for listening and for following along in my journey. And I wish you the very best along yours. Thank you and have a wonderful day.